Welcome everyone to the Cialmograph channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do UV textures on flip fluid simulations. Okay, so we are going to start from the beginning when I create this sphere. Okay, this part of the simulation I will cover really quickly because it's not the matter of this tutorial. Okay, the the important point of this tutorial is the UV textures on the on the simulation. But after this, I can create some tutorial about flip fluid simulation. If you want it, comment below, okay? So, first I create this transform. I put 10 right here to move it upward like that. And I make this flip source with particle separation of 0 0.016, okay? And voxel size 0 0.02. Source flipped, important to, to make it here, okay? So, we have the flip source. Then I create this attribute noise to make a, a noisy viscosity, okay? So we have this viscosity and uh, it's zero centered, okay? So it's negative and positive. And we have an amplitude of 10, okay? Of viscosity. And uh, element size of 7, it's uh, a good element size for me. You can direct your scene as you want. Then I create this attribute wrangle. And I made this uh, viscosity equals fit viscosity and minus 6.8, 6, 10, and 400. What this means, okay? So I'm doing this fit, I'm fitting the viscosity in these values, okay? This was the previous values of a viscosity, and this is the values I want, okay? So let's see what it does. Right here is on the geometry spreadsheet. I have viscosity that goes from, uh, from minus 6 for 5, okay? And after the attribute wrangle, it's like this and like this, okay? So this is uh, most uh, fit valuables for viscosity, okay? For the simulation. So then I create this dot net. Let's come back to the first frame. In the dot net, I created the flip object with the same particle separation, okay? And here I didn't uh, mess with anything here, I just let this as default. And um, volume source, it's for forget the, the source, okay? So I made it the first contact geometry, where the geometry comes here. And uh, the activation, I put this dollar $f uh, less than 24, okay? So it will emit particles until the 23 frame and it stops right here. So it's not the v m much particles on simulation, it, it doesn't need so many particles, okay? So in the flips over, I let the sub steps as default okay and the particle motion in behavior you need to activate id attribute deactivate recede okay and uh, i activated vort vorticity too but you don't need to do this okay in volume motion i change it to swirly over splash okay i, I prefer swirly in this kind of situations and um in viscosity, it's very important to enable viscosity by attribute, okay? If you don't need do this, you the, the viscosity will not be... It will not import the viscosity you did here, okay? This viscosity we set up here, if you don't activate the viscosity by attribute, you don't get this viscosity, okay? So it's important to activate here. And I put the viscosity scale as 5, okay? So that is it in the flip solver, okay. Then I added the gravity and the ground plane so it has some collision, okay, with the ground. We have the simulation and I did a cache already, so here's our simulation, okay. Let's wait for this to load. Like uh, we have this simulation, look at that, okay. So we don't have any UVs right here, okay? So let's continue. I created this attribute delete just to clean some attributes I don't need. 
and uh, the rest I will delete right here so we can you can follow when I do this okay so let's delete these nodes okay so we have the simulation with points okay particles so we need UV if I create UV project right here I can create also an attribute from map so I can visualize this UV project and um, this textures map I will create I will choose UV grid gray okay nice so in UV project we need points UV okay and initialize to best plane so we have some UV okay let's go to the 16 here and uh, okay initialize so we have this kind of UV okay but if I move in my timeline here you can see that it's like uh, the simulation is revealing okay the the UVs we don't want this we want to distort the UVs with simulation okay we want that the simulation will advect the UVs and we don't have this happening right here so how we can achieve this first we need to create a time shift delete channels right here and freeze in the frame you want to control the to to be the perfect UV okay the moment you want the UV to form correctly you need to put here so I think 72 okay so right now we are freezing in this frame okay so uh, we need to do right here is simple we just need to copy at oh, sorry attribute copy we need to copy this attribute from here from UV project to our simulation here so if we create another attribute from map here we can see it already has the UV we copied but if you come back you see the UV are really getting oh sorry sorry we're copying the CD we need the UV oh right now okay you see the UVs are distorting with the simulation okay it's a complete different result okay and this is exactly what you want so you can see the simulation goes on and the UVs falling with the liquid okay right so after that we can right here connect and create our mesh let's see I create this mesh it's really oh, how can I see it's coarse do you know it's not a good mesh but I did it quickly so it's not the, the matter of the tutorial if you want to, to do some render you can make a, a much better mesh okay so I did some smooth some reshape and one more smooth always on mean curvature flow right here and a convert VDB so it's polygons again okay so we have this result right here then all we, we need to do is an attribute transfer okay so you can see that if I activate here we have this simulation and we have the mesh in the same position so you just need to transfer the attribute from here to here and we already have the UV happening here okay so to see the UV we can let's see we can create an UV quick shade okay let's see oh you see we already have some UV but we can select UV here okay so we are transferring only the UVs and in condition we can increase the max sample count okay let's put it 100 okay so you see it's a very beautiful UV and it worked perfectly so now if I come back to the 48 frame right here you can see that it will distort the UVs okay so another way you can do it it's with particle fluid surface okay some people prefer to do this that way but I I prefer to use the 
VDB from particles, but with particle fluid surface you can generate some mesh as well. So I connect it here. In particle fluid surface we need to wait because this comp computing fluid density takes some time. Transferring, transferring attributes. So yeah, we already working. So we have right here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I connected the wrong node right here. It's this node we must connect. Oh, sorry for that. I made it wrong. Now we wait again. Okay, now yeah, so we already have the particle fluid surface with the UV working, look at that. So we've come back to the 72, let's wait again for this computing fluid density, it's very boring, but let's wait. Okay, done. Look at that. You have the perfect UV on your mesh. So you can project any texture you want, even with the attribute from map. Look at that. I can come here and create attribute from map. And here I can choose this Houdini logo. Okay, let's uncheck this UV quick shade. Okay, so you have the Rudini logo projected perfectly on your mesh, okay? So, hope you liked it, this tutorial and uh, soon I will upload another tutorials including a second tutorial about UV texture on flip fluid simulation, okay? So, thank you for your time and subscribe and activate notifications in the channel so you can follow new contents, okay? Thank you, see you!